Hello everybody, my name is Lofter, and welcome back to my audio coming out of the wrong, um, place. I'm your host, Lofter. Mm, let's see here. This should work, probably. I see one Texas boy exclamation point has subscribed. Oh God, has subscribed. So welcome. I don't know why I'm talking as if I was some sort of robotic professional Twitch streamer. But uh, yeah. Oh God, what do we do? Hang on, what have we done? Jesus, where am I? I know what I have to do. I actually do know what I have to do and we're gonna do it because there's but one puzzle remaining. That's right, did I? Hang on. It was 62. I know that has no context, but bear with me. <laughs> the answer was, in fact, 62. So we gotta go through this door. Uh, oh God. Uh, how did this work? Oh, I don't remember the solution. Oh, it has been a minute. And then, was it two pumps? I don't remember. I need 20, no, it was four pumps. It was four pumps. It was four pumps. I remember now. So we got pretty far. I think we're basically in the last hour or so of the game, maybe. It's sort of hard to say. Oh god, you know what I didn't do? Open any chats. I didn't open any chats up. I did nothing correctly. Holy cow. I just jumped on here and was like, I know exactly what I'm doing. Meanwhile, three people. not knowing anything about what I'm doing. Yeah, I can't see YouTube chat. I can't see Twitch chat. There shouldn't even be a Twitch chat. Uh, okay, there's that. Grab this chat box. Move it over here. And hey, now we're in there. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Okay. So. Let's get this done. I pressed Le Batillon. It's four pumps. So, boop, boop, it's that. That's the correct solution, I think. That's not the correct solution. It is four pumps, but the long one has to be on the left. I don't know what time he activates anymore, by the way. It seems like he activates like mega early. I mean, you hear the shing when it happens because he starts murking people, but. I also think maybe I want to like solve everything before he murks everyone. Uh, this, this, this. This should be the correct solution. I hope. Yay! Third time's the charm. Okay. So now, the answer to this pump puzzle is 62. And I'm gonna be real with you, I have no idea what the combination for it is. automatically could go 25 Let's see what happens that's wrong let me out so now I have to go all the way out to the garage to try it
And I'm pretty sure he's already out here murdering. Okay. This is my last try before I probably get killed. But what is the combination here, right? I don't get a lot of time to try it. Yep, there's... I heard it. It started. Um, so I think it's this. Right? Uh, 26 pumps. 1, 2... So it's 10. We know that's 10. So it's 16 pumps. And then 20, 20. So it's 60. So really I just have to... That's 10 pumps. That puts me down to 16 pumps. Six pumps. Six pumps? No. Maybe six pumps. That was seven. That was wrong. Was the answer minus two pumps? Oh, god damn it. I mean, just kill me. Just kill me. Hi, Pete. What do you want? Been a while, huh? Jeez, things are tough, aren't they? Maybe you've noticed that the big pump in the basement always puts out a PSI that's too high. If the big pump drains all the fluid from the main tank in the garage, you need to change how much fluid is in the tank somehow if you want to reach the required PSI. Yes, please. So, you need to set the big pump's output to 62, right? To get the tank in the garage to the right amount of fluid, you need to activate all the pumps in the house. If you activate the pump in the bathroom first, then the pump in the cellar, you might end up with the right amount of fluid. Oh. I kind of just thought I was done with the bathroom pump, so I'm glad I inquired to him about further explanation. I think I, that means I got it right, maybe? I don't know. It comes out too high. So I need to run it out of fluid. That makes sense. Oh god, was this how this one worked? Oh, these larger bottles are screwing with me. Yeah, that was right. Okay, so that solves that one. And then I need to solve the garage pump, which we said was, I think, four pumps. And then... Yeah, I'm just gonna let that work. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so let me go look at the garage real quick and find out how many pumps are left. I don't know how that helps me. God, I wish I was smarter. <laughs> I wish I was smarter. That would help me out so much here because, god dang, I got big dumb. Big dumb. Biggest dumb. Hey, Lurvely. Okay, so I did six pumps before? Well, I'm glad you're here to help. We're almost done, I think. 
Wait, that's it. I just need to do four less pumps with the two pump. It's a two pump, I've got this. It's a two pump, it's a two pump, it's a two pump, it's a two pump. I set the pump it twice and I win. Yep, I just hit the puppet twice and I win. Go, 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 Emily. We've got this. It's in the bag. And once I figure this out, it's gonna be a run straight to the end of the game, I think. Okay, so. That should be the answer. How is that not the answer? What did I do wrong? How did I do wrong? Wait. Was it six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pumps. So the answer actually is seven, isn't it? I think the answer might be seven. It's also really far. People are getting murdered. My friends are being decoys for as long as they can. All right. So I think maybe the answer is three, four, five, six, seven. This is not it. It absolutely is it. Oh, I'm so close. That's the generator. Look at silly chicken. I don't have a coin. This is, is this the mall that they nearly drowned in? That's it. Yeah, kind of freaky this mall exists under this rural house in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that is indeed freaky. Okay. Oh, he's pissed. Here he comes. All right, big boy, I'm about to make a mad dash for your room. Actually, I need you to hurry because I have about 30 minutes until the uh, water becomes electrical. This is my one chance to do this. I've left him so far in the dust. There's no way he catches up with me. Oh, unless of course I get stuck on the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Move, Emily, move, Emily. Okay, I know the solution. No!
Did I do it? I think I did it. No, 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 I went in the wrong place. Wait, oh god, I don't remember where to go. What am I doing? Yeah, the locker in the basement. The locker in the basement. Holy crap. Finally. Did I, if I did it right, I can... Please? Please? No. What did I mess up? I'm so sure that was the correct answer. All right, so hopefully he's gonna go in that left door. Oh, he's coming, Jesus. Did I forget middle? Damn it. Ugh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's doable. Hey, nerd. Now, why don't you go in that door over there? It's a cool door. That one works too. Oh, okay, I'm headed back up there. I gotta go there anyway. So yeah, let me know because it's the, the 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 solution I think should be top bottom middle and then all purple or Shoot. Oh god. It's so hard to get around that corner That's not right. I was pretty certain that the combination was just what I did there, but I don't even know anymore, man. This is different. I was this here before? Has anything changed in my suitcase? Oh, it's just empty now. It's... It's empty? There's no way I totally forgot the pack. What the hell? Okay, well. I have to solve this. Quote unquote solve. Are my friends even here anymore? on. Am I alone? No, they're here. Um, 
Wow, did I just have a stroke? I'm gonna listen to this again. Hi, it is high, low, mid. And as far as I know, that's the only thing left I have to do. So I'm gonna open this door. And we're just gonna wait in this closet and we're gonna do the fake out thing again. I wanna look up the answer to this one though. Because like, I don't think I understand. Yeah, there's a synthesizer. First, set the three levers on the bottom of the synthesizer to match the position of the three bars from the locker visual, which I did, right? Then three squares in the grid on the top. You need to match the three bars from the locker visual. You can position them at the top, middle, or bottom row of the grid to change their color. Set each square to match color. Where's the locker visual? Yeah, it's all purple. So why isn't it working? That's the solution. Okay, here he comes. <sighs> we're gonna try it one more time. And if I can't figure it out, we're just gonna skip this part because I know this, I know what it does. I know what it says. At this point, it's just a matter of trying not to be- I've already literally told the creator of the game how much I hated this section. And he was like, I'm glad you like the rest of the game. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's fully aware of how much I hate this part. But he's a good guy. He's, he's a good bean. He took it in stride and he appreciated my input. The scene rooms were interesting, for sure. Yeah, bugger off. And... Now. Oh, I know you coming, but you, you can't catch me, at least. The biggest thing I gotta do is stop moving when a screen transition happens, and then keep moving. Because that's how I get disoriented. Like right here, just let go of the stick. Let go of the stick. See? Easy. Did I open these doors? Uh, they are open. I don't know if I opened them, so we're gonna go around. Okay. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This, is, this, this should work. Up. Bottom. Middle. Purple. Purple. That's good. It did work that time. <sighs> I 
Yeah, eat my dick, nerd. Man, he came straight forward, opened the doors and everything. Finally. Right? And the puzzle is the, the old printout reads stay with black diamonds in between the letters. Why would anyone go to the trouble of locking this away? Because it's. That's from that one cutscene. Hey, nerd. I got everything I need to take you down. Come and get it. This is your last. Probably not your last. Okay, so we got the stay, we got the stay clue. I got it on my own. I knew it was there the whole time, but I did it. What you want, Pete? What you got for me now? <coughs> hey, Emily, this seems like a pretty stressful situation. Bye for now. Thanks, Pete. That was, um, was helpful. Truly. Okay, that's it. All I gotta do is figure out this damn The blood looked like lentil soup. Okay. All I have to do is figure out this puzzle. This is the last one. And honestly, I have no actual idea how it works. Because I already know that it's stay, but I don't know how the letters correlate downstairs. about that look up that okay in theory just looking at this in theory I'm gonna start writing these down I have to okay so you unknown e you. Okay, so that's gonna correlate to what they are upstairs. Oh, you scared me, Gary. We're just gonna do this one at a time. Okay, so you equals six. Uh, this one doesn't matter. Uh, and then E is five, U is six. Okay, so what happens if I turn this to three? We'll do three, one, eight. Three one eight. Okay. Three equals X. One is A. That's correct. So one is correct. And then eight is S. T Z. So I need to go backwards. So six should be correct. And then W, V, U, at T, S. So I need to go backwards four, maybe? So seven? Okay, he's here. I don't have anywhere to hide.
I should just die. I should do this puzzle without any threat. Hey, buddy. You gonna give me a hug? Cool. So it looks like I get maybe three attempts to try to figure this out per run. Pete, I swear to Christ. Good. No, don't flip the switch. Why? Whatever. Open the thing. Okay, so we said Six should be the correct answer here. One is correct here. And then we wanted to try seven, which doesn't make much sense, but we'll take a look. Yeah, it takes a full 30 minutes just to get upstairs and try and, and get one attempt in. It's pretty nuts. Okay, and then... So it's six. It can't be six, so maybe it's eight? One is correct, so it is something, something, one, something. The U is either two to the left or two to the right. I tried six just now, right? It has to be four. Four. And... One or... It has to be seven? All right. So this one has to be either one or seven. We're gonna go with one and four. Or if we've already tried, no, four. And then we still don't know this one. But we can basically go through it one at a time. So maybe two? Two. All right, I might as well just try all the numbers at this point. So we know one is correct. Now we'll try two and three. So we'll try two and three. I might get time for another attempt. Nah, he's coming. <sighs> nope. Two. And we'll try three here. So we'll try three. Two. 
Is he awake? He's out. Look, I need to look at this before you stab me, so just chill for a second. I can't look at it. Oh, come on. Maybe I should just let him kill me and try the next set of numbers. But I really want to see if two, uh, three and two are correct. Seven, no, eight, no. One, no. Did I try seven? I don't know if I tried seven. Well, we know two's not correct. Three's not right, four's not right, six's not right. There's mixes of like a woman's voice in there. All right, whatever, just kill me, bro. It's fine, I don't care. I guess it is a woman. Shut up, Pete. Boy, it sure is hard, isn't it? Thanks, Pete. Clearly, Jory didn't expect people to suck this much. I mean, there's only a couple of possible combos left. I've got to try three on the top and two on the bottom, and then i got to try seven, probably? But at least we know the third one is one. So we're going to try three. And two. Three and two. Everybody seems very nonplussed about this thing falling, by the way. Okay, so... Two is correct for the last one. I bet it's seven. I bet it's seven. It has to be seven. Doesn't appear that it was probably seven, but we'll go look real quick. Uh, the only numbers left that I haven't tried are like five and maybe four? Nope. It's not seven. Five and four, I think, are the only numbers I haven't tried. Just to just check. Yeah. This is just trial and error because I don't know how they interact. It looks like it was like one off early, but when I change it by one, it goes completely different and I don't know what that means. So we'll try five. I think he comes down at 845 now, so this is the last one I get to try. And I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom after this attempt. It's 
not five, so it has to be four. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. There's only 13 minutes left. I don't think I can make it upstairs and then back down again before he comes out. I can't, it's impossible. Is it? It is. Ah, whatever. No, I need to check four. He's not out yet, he's not out yet, he's not out yet. I get to check it. It's not four either. What have I not tried? One? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've tried them all. Get me, dude. That was a big stab. <sighs> I've tried every number. I've tried every number. Eight. Did I not try eight? I have eight crossed out that I tried it. That sucks. Oh, I know how to do this. I feel like uh, I might be, I might be crazy. In fact, I can go back and look. Did I try eight? According to my list, eight was the fourth number that I tried. So 
So I tried three here. That was the second one. Okay. Seven. Oh, it's broken. I can't click on the freaking timeline anymore. So that was three. Maybe I didn't check eight. I was pretty sure I checked eight. There's seven. And so according to my notes, the next one that I checked was eight. I clicked too far and went to one. I clicked too far and went to one. I meant to, so I meant to do eight and I missed. Okay, cool. So you can't actually succeed until nine something. That's okay. That's the last puzzle. All we have to do is solve the rest of them now. We can do it in one go. Well, I don't think I can do it in one go. Can I do it in one go? Oh yeah, you have to activate that before the lightning strike at 9.15. Wow. Uh... Yeah, that's correct. Okay. There's that one. Now we have to do the garage one. Oh god, there's a lot we have to do, isn't there? I messed that up immediately. Okay, I need to, like, plan out my route here. I think I need to set everything up. And then do it in one go, right? That's, like, the last challenge. So this puzzle, what was this puzzle? Cause I have to make, it's a, uh, oh God, it's something like, Oh, I don't remember. That's three. Oh, oh, it saved it. Okay, so yeah, I was kind of right. I was close. It goes over three and then up to here. Did I do wrong? 
Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Oh, I gotta go around this one. Okay, so that's done. And I think this one was seven. Oh, I hope I remember this correctly. I'm pretty sure it was seven. Got the lightning rod. Like this? No, I needed the small one. Damn it, I screwed up. I'm boned. Okay. Chances are pretty low that I succeed here. Extremely low, in fact. I might have a shot. Nope. Maybe? Nope. Yes, maybe? No. I'll never make it. I think I have to flip the tall one and the small one. one on. We actually have a chance here. Because three are activated. Come on, dude. I've already got that door open. All I gotta do is get to the gas chambers. Twice. And then get to the attic. open this. Oh, I hope I'm right. I might have screwed up just now. It might be double gas. It was double gas. Hey, Ginger! Damn it! It was double gas when red... So red is double gas. I had to hurry, though. I was running out of time. Okay. We have everything, though. 
We have everything. Hey, Emily, you don't look so good. The accumulator needs to be, I know, I know, I know, I know, Pete. I know, I've got this. What was this one? 8712. Okay, all we gotta do is go, baby. It's go, go, go time. We have all of the pieces. We just need to put them together. So, I really should have It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know the uh, I know the solution to everything. I just have to execute. Execute. I did not activate the bathroom, but that's fine. Yes! Okay. Now we just gotta go to the bathroom. Pumps, switch. Don't even look at the explosion. We're just going. Come on. Did it work? Well, did I do it right? I don't remember. I'm, I don't know. Uh, this is four, swap, and go. Oh, it makes the noise. It does make the noise. I don't think I did the upstairs correct. God! Let me check the bath. Let me check the garage real quick. It says 26. I messed up the bathroom. How did I mess up the bathroom? Did I not press the button? No, I... It's... it's it's this. Please, give me the jingle. We're good. Okay. Uh, it's zero, eight. Chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it, chase it. Got it. Okay. Oh, go, go faster. Okay, so it's boom, 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 boom. Got it in one. Okay. So the question is, do we do the gas chamber first? Or do we do... I feel like we should do the gas chamber first, right? Because the gas chamber is like an insta-kill anyways. The problem with gas chamber first is if... I guess there's no difference. I mean, if we come to this door and he's there, it's blue. So if I go red, I'm safe. What? No! The light means that it's full, so blue would have been safe, you idiot. Oh my god! Oh my car. Oh, Emily, please cooperate. I need you to cooperate. It's very important that you do the things that I tell you to do in the exact order that I do them. Otherwise, we're dead. 
and this is becoming very tedious. I know, Lurvly. Having to remember all of this stuff and do it fast is hard. All right. Eight, seven, one, two. Yep, lightning rod. Go, go, go. I guess it doesn't matter how quickly I finish all of this because there's no way I get through the gas chamber fast enough to beat him. He's always going to be active by the time I'm done with the gas chamber. Okay, so, oh god, what is this one? It's just one, two, and then let it fly, right? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. That one's done. Done. Uh, zero, seven, eh, we'll just do eight, it's fine. <sighs> Run, Emmy, go! Emmy, 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 you can do it! All right. Okay, gas chamber time. Gas chamber, gas chamber. All I gotta do is not get cornered by him and also not die to the gas chamber. Where are we at? Blue, okay, I gotta go in blue. I just have to go in blue. I didn't stoop it all over the place. Oh God, I don't remember this one. Okay, wait, red and blue. And yellow is empty right now, which actually, oh, uh, I should have checked. I should have checked. I had a lot of confidence. We're fine. I actually did it correctly. <laughs> All right, so now we go in the blue and we wait. I wonder why I can't, can I just cut straight from red to yellow there? Okay, now this one, they're both filling. So wait, 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 if I remember right, the blue will be dangerous now, right? Yes. What's happening now? Okay, so now they both light up and then red becomes safe. The combination for this was... God, he's pissed. You hear how angry... Jeez, uh, two... It's not that. Uh, 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 which of these... Oh, it's this one. Here it is, I see it. 9009. Yep.
That's three. There's one more. One more. One more! But I have to go back to the gas chamber, don't I? Is there really no way to do this besides going back to the gas chamber? He can't go through the gas chamber, can he? Okay, so we're at red now. So red is dangerous. This one's safe. Not that I don't think, that's not thinking about it. I think you can just make it through here in time. Yeah, you don't actually have to worry about what's safe and what's not. So now they're both bad. No, now I gotta wait again. Now they're both bad. And then red is safe, and then blue is safe. So after this, yellow will be safe. Now red is safe. Blue is safe. And we're out. And as long as he isn't literally in this room... <laughs> fucker was waiting on me! This is gonna be tough. Where is he? Wait, where is he? He's not down here, that's all that matters. Okay, what this this one is seven pumps, right? I'm I'm gonna look at I'm I'm gonna look. Like low key, I'm looking it up. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the all three big ones side by side. Do this first. That's so mean. 
That's so mean, Jory. Why would you set it up like that? Oh, I've got to do that. You have to do that puzzle first. <sighs> Gotta do the lightning rod first, actually. Okay. <coughs> okay. God, that's nerve wracking. You have to do. Oh, you have to do. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, it's, it's not even just hard, it's stressful. It's so stressful. Okay, so I've got to activate this one first. Wasting time. Got that. So the next thing is we run by the bathroom and hit that one. I wanted to do this, this other hallway last because it was the safest, but it is what it is. All right, so it's one, two, and then do it. This one is one, two, three, four, swap and go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the garage puzzle and get it set up so I can just run through. I can't believe I had that perfectly memorized. <laughs> minutes until he activates. Oh, am I gonna make it? The lightning strike happens at 9.15, doesn't it? Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Please hurry! Don't exactly have a ton of time. He's about to activate. All right, that's it. All I gotta do is get out of here. He's not even awake yet. Okay, now he's awake. Hey, BB. Can't talk, concentrating, but hi. I hope you're having a good day. All I have to do is the gas puzzle correctly twice and then not get stabbed. I'm actually nervous. Oh, I am scared. Where are we? Red? So they're both dangerous on this next one. Come here. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're both dangerous. I think red's safe if I go now. Oh, please don't. Please, 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 please don't murder me. Please don't murder me with gas. Oh, I remembered correctly. God, you barely have enough time to get through there. I don't know where we're at, but it's fine. I mean, at this point... Okay, so yellow safe, which means red is the... red, Right? Red's good this time? Yeah, red's good this time. Red's after yellow. Okay, they're both unsafe, so red will be safe next. So I just gotta wait on that. Oh, my nerves! My nerves! Okay, now both are bad. No. Now both are bad. you had to use the shortcut for this one. Oh well. That's all three. All I gotta do now is make it to the attic. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. I do not want to do this again. Red is dangerous. Now they're both dangerous, I believe. Red is safe. I don't remember. I'm just going to wait. There's no reason to not wait. That was safe. All right. So now blue's bad, both are bad, and then I can go through blue. Oh, God. All right, both are bad. Blue is bad. And none of, that doesn't even really matter, because again, you can just run straight through, and you never even get caught by the gas, but it feels like it's way too risky. Alright, so yellow's bad, yellow's good now. Still that moment of, I don't know. Blue safe, blue safe, blue safe, blue safe, blue safe, blue safe, blue safe. God, I feel like you barely have time to make that one. Like, I actually thought I was toast. This is it. I just have to not be cornered. I don't know where he is. God 
damn it. Of course he was right there. Will he come in here? Yes. This is it. I got past him. All I gotta do is not get stuck on corners and stuff. Really? Really? He didn't go through these doors? I did it! Emily. Francine! I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing up here? The lamp in the study broke again, and I knew you were up here. We need to talk before you do something rash, Em. There are other things we can do. Other options. I mean, for God's sake, Emily, look at that thing. Do you really think it can solve all your problems? What other choice do we have? You think you know how to get us out of this? No, Em, I'm telling you, neither of us do. Maybe there is no way out. I think I first clocked it when you started poking around and solving Ness's little puzzles and taking, uh, talking in code. And for a moment there, I had a glimmer of hope that this was progress for the both of us, that maybe you would help me figure out how to get us out of here. Yeah, real big help there, Francine. But nope, you're still you. But I'm begging you, don't let it come to this. Why trust a weird old man and his weird old machine? Listen, I don't want this fight to end. I want this to stay ugly because it's something. But we need to get out of here, Francine, one way or another. We don't know what it'll do. It could ruin everything, as if everything wasn't already ruined enough. This could be the end, Emily. Shit! Watch out! Francine, I'm sorry! <sighs> okay. Is it Pete or the other guy? <coughs> also, who the hell- Whoa. Hi, Pete. Another fine mess you've gotten yourself into. Go to hell. Pete could be pretentious sometimes, but he didn't talk to goddamn Great Gazoo. Or didn't talk like the goddamn Great Gazoo. Ness made it sound like you're not really you. And you're gonna trust him? You look. You took the time to turn on his machine. Look how much good that did you. Seems like it worked out okay. I'm still here. Barely. You can't keep coming back like this forever. Turning on the accumulator almost bled this place dry. I thought the accumulator created this place. The cr accumulator couldn't create shit. It's a wooden box attached to one of those static electricity machines from the science museum. At least it was. Decades of obsession Ness put into it turned into, turned into a ticking time bomb. The raw energy of it almost killed this place. So if this place dies, what happens to us? Do we get set free or what? How do you define free? Don't start with me. Truthfully, I don't know. The strength that's keeping you here is giving out, but so is the strength that's keeping here here. When that strength is finally gone, I don't know if you're no longer here or if you go out with the rest of what's here, if that makes sense. It makes about as much sense as the rest of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to you again after this. I don't think I'll be able to do anything after this. Since there'll be a quiet moment before the thought of the house intrudes again, do you have anything you'd like to know? What is the thing that keeps killing us? It's a symptom, a side effect. So are you, though you have a little more of, sense of, of a sense of self than the homunculus does. Who are you really? For all intents and purposes, I'm Pete. What happens to you now? I don't know. That's one's a little beyond me. There's a threshold I'm aware of. I can hear it. I can barely hear anything else. I'm really scared. I'm not ready to cross it, but I don't have a choice. Still, it was good while it lasted. It was nice meeting you. Shucks. For real, why are you helping me? Like I said before, why do you think I would want to hurt you? Because you've had me and my friends trapped in this hellish memory with a meat monster that keeps killing us? I didn't create this house. I didn't create you or the memory or the meat monster. These things just flow through me. I don't want any of this for you. I don't want anything. If you didn't create the killer, who did? I don't know. Entropy? 
What is up with all these evasive answers? I can't believe Ness was more forthcoming than you. Ness just had a way with words, I guess. Alright, I feel like I'm starting to fade. I don't have a choice not to bring the house back again. The house, all of you, that night, the gravity of it is too great. Greater than me. Why? I don't know. Seems pretty pointless if you ask me. It's been created and destroyed and recreated before, but this time it's taking longer. I don't know how many more times it can happen again. Take care. And it's back. What the heck? Hey. Hey. I, um, I'm about to head out of town, and I didn't want to leave without, without checking on me? Yeah. Do you want to come in? Oh, the carpet's the same texture as the ground, or the rug is. How's your head? Oh, it's fine. I don't even didn't even end up spending the night. When I got home, I passed out, like, immediately. But I kept walk, waking up. Something about being told you could die in your sleep really gives you a fitful dream, you know? Anyway, the doctor said I could sleep. The doctor said I could sleep, so I've been working at it all day. I've got my sleepy time tea. Should be fine. She just said to avoid caffeine and, like, strenuous mental activity, I guess? Gosh, Francine, I just wanted to say that I'm, um... Hold on, are you here to apologize? You feel sorry? For what? I don't know, I, I just guess, well, I, I guess just watching you fall and I couldn't help but think I could have done something about it. About what? A fiberglass hot dog collapsing? I got a concussion. It wasn't the end of the world. Oh, the hot dog is, oh, I really thought that hot dog could hold our weight. I did too. You could have broken your neck, but I didn't. You came with me to the ER. You were there for like three hours. People have aneurysms! Sometimes hours later, people hit their heads going upstairs and die after a week of no warning. Emily, you seem really worried about hitting your head walking upstairs. This is not the first time I've heard you talk about this. I remember you having a better handle on this stuff. What's going on? I think I might be experiencing some cog cognitive decline. What are you talking about? I don't know, I'm just- I think I'm just in town to see some fucking shooting stars or whatever. A meteor shower. And I'm stuck in this part of the process where my friends and I are like strangers. The ice never breaks. I can't get through to anyone. And we find out the house we're trapped in is all we're ma all made out of meat. We find out the house we're trapped in is made out of meat. Us, the time loop, and the masked freak with the knife that keeps killing us, all of it. It's so absurd I start thinking it must not be happening. I assume it just has to end somehow, that it was never real in the first place. But no, there is a masked killer, and some kind of Groundhog Day thing. But then even that isn't true. It's some kind of nasty fake reality we're in. I don't know, and I'm like, is there just something fucked up about me? Did I do something to deserve this? Like, I created that thing, didn't I? Willed it into being? Or is this just in my head? Am I unconscious in a car at the bottom of a ravine? Did I slip in the fucking shower or something? Emily, you can't... <clears throat> the worst thing about all of this is that I don't even know if anything is special about it. Maybe this is just normal loose disillusionment. Emily, we're trapped in a time loop and there's a knife-wielding monster that keeps killing us. Ugh, I know, it sucks. And it's my fault. Your fault? The alternate reality and the murderer? How? I'm obsessed with this shit. The past, I can't let it go. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, the hot dog thing, it was stupid. Yes, blindly, uh, blindingly, astoundingly stupid. But something about this night, when I leave, when I left your apartment, whenever the hell this actually happened, I remember the look you were giving me, like, future uncertain, anything can happen stuff. And I fucked it up. Hermited myself away and didn't talk to you or anyone. I let it all slip. I lost my best friend over nothing. <coughs> After the night at the hospital, I told myself I wasn't going to depend on anyone else ever again. I wasn't going to caretake or be taken care of. I went all in, all in on me. 
And when I saw you again at Ness's house a year later, I realized it was working. I guess I wasn't angry, didn't feel passionate about not having heard from you. It was just a matter of fact. Oh, Francine, you don't have to apologize. I'm not apologizing. I did what was right for me. I decided I wasn't going to give you or my dad or my landlord who needed to come inside my apartment for half an hour to tell me he's raising my rent. I decided I wasn't going to give any more time, thought, than I could spare. I did everything I could. I started waking up at 6 a.m. every day, meditating for an hour. I upped my therapy to as many times a week as my insurance would allow. Then, when I lost that insurance, I found free counseling services and did that as much as I could. Go away. I put all of my energy, everything I had, into the thought of a future where I felt whole. Since you weren't there to carry me, I decided it was time to self-actualize. I made a full-time job out of just trying to be happy, and I'm still not. It wasn't enough to maintain. The yearning's still there. There's a sense of whatever used to make life magical is now gone. You can't remember what it was, so you invent things. It was a video game you loved, a Halloween bucket from McDonald's. Or maybe it's a plan to make some future time... Or maybe it's like a plan, like uh, some future time where you imagine you feel exactly like you used to. The reality is things are changing, but nothing is changing faster than you are. The days are shorter now and you're in pain and there's somebody with a knife coming for you. Don't hit your head on the stairs. I'm so goddamn sick of living in the past. That sounds pretty healthy. Then why does it hurt so much? Not everything feels good all the time. So we're not really here, are we? I don't think so. Oh shit, what did I say? I think the house trip was probably a long time ago. Okay, hang on, cat wants in lap. I'm accommodating so he'll calm down and chill. Hi, Noodle. Can you lay down for me, buddy? I think the house trip was probably a long time ago. Did I click out of the game? I think so too, it feels like an old bad memory. It feels good to be able to talk about it. It does. Shit, ow, 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 ow. Oh my God, are you okay? Oh, it's you too, Emily. Nah, nah, it's fine. I'll get a towel. <coughs> ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> Guess it kind of pathetic that we weren't able to let any of this go, you know? Yeah, I wonder when this is ha even actually is. The present, I mean. It's sad if this is happening like a year after the trip to Ness's house. Way sadder if it's like five years later. Or if it's been decades in all this hell. Pretty boring hell. We're gonna die in this place, aren't we? Probably. I mean, permanently, for real this time. Probably. Oh, we're back. There's blood on the suitcase. Is it finally time to use this code? Hashtag 420! Boo, boo, boo. Wait, this was a thing. Huh, a bunch of rectangles a bunch of little rectangles labeled with the names of the rooms throughout the house. I've definitely seen this before. Do I have to go through and turn the lights on and off? Did that save? It saved. So what, do we start with the attic? Let's start with this room. Since we're already here, this is the main bedroom, so it needs to be dark. And the attic is already open. Okay. Okay. 
attic light on done main bedroom done hallway wait bedroom is dark study and bathroom are on does the hallway matter it doesn't look like the hallway matters it's all Main bedroom off, attic on. Okay, so. Bedroom off. Study and bathroom are both on. Study's on. The bathroom already on uh, this is foyer dark uh, living room dining room both on kitchen off okay that's on Kitchen. Kitchen off? Oh, he's up. He's awake. What's the dining room? Alright, whatever. I think I got it. Garage is on. Garage is on. Cellar. It seems like all the doors might be open already. What's the cellar? The hell's a cellar? Cellar, cellar, cellar. The flooded room's also gotta be off. Is this a cellar? I guess we're calling this a cellar. I gotta solve this puzzle. The waiting room. This is the art studio. Light on. Waiting room. What's the waiting room? What's the waiting room? Is this the waiting room over here? What is this room? I don't actually know what room this is. Oh God, I don't know what these rooms are. Art studios light on, I guess just light off everywhere else, right? Is there a light switch for this room? There's no light switch for this room. Oh no. I'm boned. Unless...
Well, which room is the art studio then? That's the waiting room. All right. Well, I was right about what I have to do, but I was not doing a good job of doing it, obviously. <sighs> okay. Actually, I'm just going to use this over here so I don't have to keep opening it. All right. So main bedroom, dark. Attic, lit. Okay. Bedroom, dark. We already know the bathroom's on already. Study's already on. <sighs> oh, crap. Boyer, off. Living room, on. Wait, what is up with your face? Nobody has a face. Nobody has a face! Kitchen's off, right? Kitchen's off. Foyer's off. Garage is on? Cellar is off. Uh, flooded room should be this room, I guess. Oh, he started. Yeah, flooded room should be on, so I don't actually have to mess with this one. This is the waiting room, not the art studio. So this needs to be off. We're done, aren't we? Lit, 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 lit. Off, off. Lit, off, off. The art studio, what's the art studio? This is the art studio. Right? I'm confused. I'm confused, I don't understand. studio needs to be on. Is the art studio this one over here? Is this the art studio? No, don't open that. I did it. What do I press? Wait, 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 what do I press? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, B2, right, the place that I haven't been yet. That makes sense. No, B2, the one that's lit up. Oh. Where am I? This carpet. I know this carpet. 12 a.m. flashing midnight. Okay, 
Is that a, wait, is that a, is that a, oh, it's a hallway. Open door. Wait. This is Lara's room. It took me a long time to finally take this sign down. Examine meat. Exposed muscle, breathing slowly. Is this place alive, made out of meat? I can barely stand to think about it. Well, it's different, so that's progress. Oh God, is it? Can't go that way. Is it trying to cut me? That, oh, the blood. Yeah, right over there, you're right. A bunch of torn up sheets and bandages and paper all torn up and mixed together. Was the killer living here? It's kind of pathetic. Scratches, was that thing trapped down here? Did I let it out? Emily! Uh, sorry about the mess. I don't think it's this bad in real life. Where's the where'd the killer go? It has to be looking for us, right? <coughs> Not anymore. It saw the door was open and made a break for it. I don't think it liked being here either. Things are going wild up above. You should see it. Up above? We can't go back up there. You'd rather take your chances out there? Good point. Wait, where's this? It's not a wild, classical haunted house anymore. It's just a house. Just a normal house with a normal attic. Yeah, after you went down the elevator, I kind of lived and died a few more times, and... Jeez, really? Yeah, don't worry about it. But every time I came back, it seemed like the house was changing. It got a little smaller, less colorful, a little sadder, more like I actually remember it. Let's take a look around, I guess. Knock yourself out. I'm watching the sunset over the lake as I write this. The garden I told you about has finally begun to pay off. The zucchinis are just beginning to flower. My tomato plants are... I think back on the dinky little garden I tried so hard to cultivate in your yard that summer. Bastard squirrels beat us to the punch when we found... Have you heard from any of the old gang lately? You'd never believe it, but I find myself getting lonesome out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure you do understand the feeling. It is a joy to live alone, yes, but I find myself missing the sound of poorly picked guitar in the early morning. Kids sometimes drive down to the shore. My property is smoked grass. The smell drifts up here and drives me crazy with nostalgia. They believe they're being sly, and I'm happy to let them think so, so long as I can enjoy their distant laughter and fun. So enough of my navel gazing. Are you well? What are you working on tinkering with? Please drop me a line whenever you find a chance. I do so love to pick that strange brain of yours. Warmly see. Guess it's an old group soft game. Looks scary. So this is the actual, uh, the accumulator. A wooden box with a switch and a light bulb. This is the accumulator, I guess. From before, Nest's obsession made it a messed up mad science machine. So I guess when we're ready, we just flip the switch on the accumulator? Wait, that's the accumulator? It looks like a closet. Yep. Here, it's just a totally normal creepy old pseudoscience box. Jeez. Why not give it a try, I guess? It worked last time. What happened to the others after I left? <coughs> 
the other kids they all disappeared not long after you went into the elevator they were just gone and then the elevator came back up and the killer got in and went after you that's when the house started to change what happened to this place i have no idea i mean i guess i have some idea you saw it it was falling apart i feel like it shed the layers we had put on it it's like it turned back into the nest house that it actually was without all the emotional burden we had put on it exactly i guess by the way, what was the deal with those fleshy little creatures? The little jiggly things in Nest's house. I thought they were kind of cute. Same, I guess. Weird little walking kidneys. Wait, no! Now that I put it that way, I hate them. They sort of remind me of the killer. Bipedal flesh lumps kind of going through the motions of human behavior. But like, baby? Almost like the killer had more reference material to pull from. There was this time where one had gotten injured and was dragging itself towards me, whimpering and stuff. It started nuzzling against my leg like it wanted me to pet it, so I did, until it died. I think that might have messed me up more than some of the times I watched you guys die. Ugh. What did its skin feel like? Like wet velvet. Who would have guessed this whole place was made out of meat? Definitely not me. Do you think this place has been making us out of the same stuff? Don't. No. I refuse to entertain this possibility. What do you think happened to the other kids after they disappeared? I guess the same thing that's gonna happen to us. Yikes. I'm ready to go. You sure? Yeah. I am too. Please let us get together soon, okay? Oh. It was good seeing you. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We're out, I think. stressful. I've been less stressed playing Resident Evil games. Oh, wow. There's a lot more people that made this game than I thought did, actually. Like, I thought this was, like, Jory, and that's it. But no, there's, like, a whole team. Huh. Okay, can't skip the credits, but how many could there be? We're already in the testers, it's fine. So yeah, not bad, honestly. Um, like I said, the synthesizer puzzle was really annoying. But... There was definitely a lot more um, intensity in that final stretch when he was chasing you around and I had to activate all three um, generators at once. That was actually more tense than most like real horror games I've played. I can't say that I call this a horror game. This is definitely like an escape room puzzle game with a couple of spooky moments, but yeah. Any thoughts before I sign out and go get ready for Diablo 4? Lurvely, BB? I'll give you a couple of seconds, and if nothing is said, I will go ahead and sign off and get ready for Diablo and go get dinner.
All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to do likes, comments, subscriptions, all that good stuff. It helps out the channel a bunch. Watch more videos. I have plenty of horror and Let's Plays and whatnot on the channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces, dummies. <laughs>